All right. Ugh. So many confusing things going on here. Okay. So yeah, get rid of torches. Get rid of torches. So what do you want to watch me do? You want to watch me do some building, which is probably going to be kind of boring because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So it's going to be a lot of break, break, replace, change, stare at things for a long time. Or we can start working on a cobble works. Start your votes now. Build or cobble works. Those are your choices. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got two votes for build and one vote for cobble all right um i could try and finish that shack that i was working on to encase the pump jack down there we needed a lot of copper sheet metal another bucket building materials dark wing building materials does need a hammer does it need the soldering Powered lantern from immersive. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing the um, floodlight tall slow because I don't really want something. I don't know. Yep, to fancy up the building around my pump jack. Exactly. Um, let's grab these. I need to make a few more. So let's do factory. Re blocks. Let's make some. Yep. And we're going to need the building gadget and the chisel. We'll chisel these into those. All right. Let's go try to get some of this done. I know I'm going to need hundreds and hundreds of copper sheet metal, but. Um, I chose copper because I have so much copper. I have a lot of copper. So, yeah. Um, do that, but then this here is going to go down right there, I think. But let's sneak in here and we're gonna replace a few. Let's do um, and that one. Woo. That'll give me a couple more. Right there. Great. So we've got two walls done. We need two more walls here and then uh, a roof, which I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. <laughs> and then we'll be able to take out the prismarine from inside here, make sure it's got no water 
and our pump jack will have a decent building. Okay. More solder. More and more and more. Oh, everything broke. What do we need for this? Just a hammer. Do we have another hammer? We do. Okay. We'll see how far that gets us. Oh, you lose your kitty cat. Whoop, I went too far. There we go. Here. One more. No. Oh, look, this one's in the wrong spot. Actually, I need to make sure it's this one and not the other one. Um, I wanted it more here. One, two, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. That's what I wanted. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is in the wrong spot. Okay, great. Now we need to do a roof. What are we going to do for a roof? Oh, we probably should also do the little swapping out of materials. Did I already do this side? I did. Mm, nope, I think I want that one to be this. Okay, so what should we do for a roof? Hmm. It's very tempting just to do a slab roof. Lab. Hmm. 
No wood at this depth, by the way. Can't place wood at this depth, but... That's in tempting. If only we could make these really easily. <laughs> um... Can't do hempcrete because we don't have hemp. Um, I mean, I suppose we could get some really quickly and then do the roof later. What about brick? No. But maybe caimanite brick. Ooh, the ashen? Oh, I've been using that a lot. There's sky stone. The sky stone small bricks. Scaffold slab with the wood center. This one? Um... Yeah, but it's not wood, it's scaffold. It's this stuff with the wood in the middle. I'm just trying to think. That has potential? Hmm. Oh, I don't want to make that many trap doors. That that would be insane. You know, we could just use cobble. That wouldn't be too bad. Or stone. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. What do we do? What do we do? Where do you get that stuff? Uh, I've only seen the blue. How do you get the thawed version? <gasps> the frozen is thawed. I like the look of this. Um, do we have any um, thaw? It's the wrong button. Do we have any up? Maybe it's all upstairs. The frozen. I don't know why it's upstairs, but all of a sudden, because I made, I used a whole bunch of the frozen stuff for, um, the blue stuff for my base down there. Where would I have put it? That's dirt. See, there's dirt up here, and this is seeds and more building materials. The thaw is in the third layer. Oh, well, I don't think I've been to the third layer. I've only been to the second layer. But the frozen stuff can just be put in a, in a furnace to become the thawed. And I was wondering if I had any. We might need to go to Glacidus. We might need to go, because I'm trying to think about where I would have um, these blocks. So I have a lot of frozen. Let's put some in here. 
Yep, look at that. Let's do three. And I think that wins. Need to upgrade this dude. He's just still basic. We should make a whole bunch of conversion kits and just get it out of the way. Let's go see what a larger variety, a larger verse set of it will look like down here. All right. Well, we have to deal with the water. That's nothing I can do about that. Since, you know, 1.14 is where we have the flooded um, slabs. What? Not bad. I mean, like again, we have to deal with the water look, but that's not a something I care really too much about. Um That's That's nice. I like that. Okay, we're going to do that. We just need to get a whole bunch of the thawed thawed stone. This one is going to go here, and then that's there. That only does the bottom ones. Okay. Oh, probably because I, when I snapshotted it, it was the bottom ones. Yeah. Okay. Right. Woo! Almost done with this. We're almost out of blocks though too, so we do have that to contend with. I 
All right, we need to just go get a couple more. Yay. Forty-eight ought to do it. All right, so that is done on the outside. And now just to get rid of um, yeah get rid of this in the inside we need a door water back there. Okay. Yeah. I know I don't have a sponge with me otherwise this would be a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Why are you filling in with water? Is there... Oh, there's... this is... Okay. There be water in there. Glad I didn't use yeah, I'm glad I didn't use wires for power also. Cause apparently there's a patch of whoop water up here. Get out of there. Yeah, you. 
Never climbed in there before. You just want to get in trouble. Wrong button. All right. I need a door. That's something I need. Whoops. Whoop. Stood on the magma curtain. <laughs> All right, so the only thing left should be this door. Does that get rid of all the water? Yes, so we're not gonna put a floor in simply because there's no need for one. Um, we do need a door to keep the water from flowing in here, but our pump jack room is all done now. And yeah. All right, let's get a door. I must be swimming out of it. Always <laughs> a cat's job interrupt you while working. Yep, that is its only job. I think we're gonna have to do iron door unless we actually can place wooden doors down there. You know, we have these trap doors. Let's just move, bring those down. Cause you know what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we can put these down there. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Yep. Do we have a lot of things in here? Just the one dude. That's something that could have been disastrous. I think we're good. Great. There we go. Whoops. You had a creeper in yours the first time you built it. Whoa. That would have been bad. All right, I'm gonna cross off that we got the shack done for the pump jack. Yay. Let's put this stuff away. Oops.
44 and it still hasn't filled up. Okay. Got some money from our passive mob farm. Yay. bit more chicken and beef. Let's see what we got for chicken in here. Um, we needed one more of you. Yep. Looks like the floodlight lights up 32 blocks in front and it's like torchlight behind. Good to know. Alright, so we have that one and now we just need beef. Which we have plenty of. Alright, so we need two of these. equals one of those. All right, so that gives us seven. Yeah. We need 14. Oh, wait, that's right, this one's done in a regular crafting table. Alright, we should be able to craft this now. The stone mob farm. Is it done in a trader's workshop? No, it's done right here. We need triple compressed stone. Hmm, we might not have the stone. I didn't notice it was triple contrast. I just thought it was... I just thought it was stone brick. I am getting hot. Hey, Folk and Dove. Smelting Soul Stand gives you ghostly glass and you can walk through it. Yep, I know. I forgot, but I know. Does that make sense? Why am I so hot right now? Let's switch out of my gear here. Alright. I don't think we have enough stone, but we'll get started, which means we will need to do a cobble works. Single compressed. Almost enough for double compressed. Well, we got one. We need two more. So yeah, we've got we've got to get some stone going. And I don't even have a cobble farm, so that is our gonna be our next task. Our next task. What? <laughs> All right. So um. Cobble works it is. We have about 20 minutes left of the stream, so we have time to get started on it. Uh, the igneous extruder will be the first thing we need. <clears throat> Yay! It needs a mixer centrifuge, which, uh, yeah, that's not bad. It's just because we have one of these. Um, 
Yeah. And now Hermes is getting into stuff. Okay, so let's make that first. And then these other parts we likely already have. Okay. We need uh, for the mechanical core, we need iron components, iron mechanical components, and steel ingots, steel ingots, and winding gears. Um, that's made in a blacksmith's table. Great, and then we need the mixer centrifuge is made in a regular one. Iron plate, copper, and iron. Iron, we don't have any iron plates. Copper, so let's go make some iron plates. Yes, it could be used as a doorway into the shack. I, I gotcha. I'm, I'm on board with what you were saying. <laughs> yep. Mixer, centrifuge. Got you. All right. And of course I have a hammer in here now. We need lead plates and fasteners for the outside. I remember we needed a wiring kit. And was it silver gears? Yeah, four silver gears and some third silver gears and some tempered glass and a transmission coil which is silver plate and wiring kit Okay, what else? That might, we need solder, but that might be it. Igneous Extruder! Yep, there is some lightning going- thunder going on. Um... Let's turn the weather down a bit. I like to have it a little bit, but... <coughs> okay, so... Let's do the, um... Cobble works along this back wall from here to here. And we'll put the igneous extruder up at the top there. Now it's going to need lava and water and uh, power. We'll do GPS for the power. I think for cobble, it's not going to consume the lava and water, but I could be wrong. Could be changed in this pack. So let's grab some lava. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to cough. Okay. It does. I know you can make regular stone, but I know for a fact that consumes. I just didn't know if this would. 
Oh, I know with obsidian it will consume it. I know it will for obsidian, it'll consume it. I just, what, I'm not sh You know, that's why cobbleworks are infinite. It's because it doesn't consume the lava and water when you do just, like, you know, when you place lava and water on the ground and they make cobble. I think that's what the perp, then, yeah. The logic of this is. All right, so let's get one of these. All right. And then probably switch. Nope. All right, so making it does not consume the lava and water. Great. So then our next step will be a furnace for stone and a pulverizer for whatever cobble turns into, whether it's sand or gravel, depends on the um, uses in a pulverizer. That's not true. There we go. Pulverizer become gravel with a chance of sand. So that's our next step for that. And I'm very likely going to use the chance of sand to make glass. And then the uses of gravel, I don't think there is. Well, that makes more sand with a chance of flint. And the flint we're going to be using in Ender I.O. machines because the steel balls are disabled. Hmm. Okay, so our next step is a furnace and a pulverizer to get that next step going. And we could just upgrade this. If we upgrade them, we don't need pipes. We can just put a pulverizer here and a furnace here. All right, I'm trying to think this through a little bit. This will put cobble in. And if we put a furnace down here, it'll pull stone, uh, the cobblestone, it'll pull sand if there's sand in there and turn them both into either regular stone or glass. Um, and then if we had a pulverizer here, it would pull the cobblestone Ah, we wouldn't want that, because it would also pull the regular stone and turn it into cobble. Um, but at least that's a, that's a step I could do, where if I had it going cobble going in here and then have it turn into stone in the furnace and go back in there. So then we'd have these two. Then we need to configure a filter for the next step to go back in there. Um... Let's see. 
I might just use regular drawers, but yeah. <laughs> just thinking things through a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Am I saving or voiding leaves? Currently saving. Um, yeah, I currently have eight. I have this drawer's full, so that means these are probably all stopped up. Um, yeah, very likely. Because otherwise the rest of these would be full too. And I'm still getting string and sticks, but the, the drawer for leaves is full. So I've got leaves. Fifty five, and it's still not backed up. Mm -hmm. And it should have made. Yep. Okay, good. So we we have a way of bulk crafting that. That's right. Um, we might need to turn this back on. Remember we turned off the refinery to use up that tank. Is it used up? No. And this isn't empty yet either. Oh, I didn't turn it off. Derp. There's no lever on there. I need to empty that resonant tank. <laughs> it does not need to have diesel in it. So for setting, we'll use the Caymanite one. All right, now you're off. So it should drain out of this first. Oh, I suppose I had this, yeah, not running either, but whatever. <laughs> now I'm double checked out. <laughs> I'm not consuming a ton of power right now, which makes sense that it's not consuming diesel very quickly. I mean, I don't have... The only thing I have running pretty much constantly is our compactors and auto crafters here for the, the money we're getting. So yay! If only I could just buy the thermal expansion machines! <laughs> yep. Alright, so we need to upgrade you so that you'll output the cobble. Still need to think this through. Furnace is for stone. Yeah, I'm not going to have things push back in. I'm going to just get individual, make, use individual drawers. All right. All right, so I am starting to get a bit of a headache, so we're going to end it here today. But we got, oh, we got a lot done today. But tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, we will do some more of this and we will start off with getting that cobble works made. And perhaps we'll work on building the third wing so that we can get the trader hall laid out and get the traders out. Um, need to make sure I have able to buy all the name tags I need. But, uh, yep. So I will see you back here tomorrow morning for some more C-Block Rustic Waters. I hope you enjoyed. If you have and you're not already following my channel, go ahead and do so. You'll be notified then when I go live. And otherwise, I will catch you back here tomorrow morning. Take care, folks, and have a great rest of your Saturday. 
Bye.